My name is Marshall Teller. I knew my new hometown was going to be different from where I grew up in New Jersey, but this is ridiculous. Nobody believes me, but Erie, Indiana is the center of weirdness for the entire planet. <laughs> Item. Elvis lives on my paper route. Thank you, little paper boy. Item. Bigfoot eats out of my trash. Item. Even man's best friend is weird. Still don't believe me? You will. Being 13 years old, I'd never thought much about time. I guess when you're a kid, you just figure you've got plenty of time to think about it later. Well, here in Erie, nothing could be further from the truth. Hey, 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 come on, guys. It's after midnight, time to turn in. But, Dad, tonight's the night we set our watches back one hour for daylight savings time. You know, spring forward, fall back, and all that. So technically speaking, it's actually an hour earlier. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is we get to stay up an extra hour. Yeah, nice try, Spock, but logically speaking, Indiana doesn't go on daylight savings time. What do you mean? Everyone has to set their watches back. Even some places weird as eerie. It's the law. I want my hour. We've been eerified again. Well, sorry, boys, it isn't just eerie, but the whole state of Indiana doesn't change to daylight savings time like the rest of America. Farmers say the cows would be confused, and. Driving theater owners claim they'd lose business if it got dark later. So, what are you men talking about? Uh, Indiana's time zone position and the relative factors. And what a chip it is. I've been ripped off of an hour of my life. This wouldn't have happened in New Jersey. Well, it's happening here. Now, TV off, lights out, end of story, and I don't want to have to say it again. Sweetheart, losing one little hour isn't going to kill you. And I'm sure Simon's parents would expect him to be asleep by now. They really never told me when I have to go to bed, Mrs. Teller. Oh, um, well, I'll just take this back to the fridge. This is such a shame. Honey, look at this. Mm. Missing. Janet Donner, 13, presumed runaway. Yeah, she's on all the milk cartons. What her poor parents must be going through. It says here she's been missing exactly a year tomorrow. Well, we can be thankful we know right where our kids are. In bed now. Night. Good night, Mrs. Teller. Mr. Teller. <laughs> you know, Simon, maybe that girl in the milk carton had the right idea. I mean, think of the advantages if we ran away. We could stay up as late as we wanted. We wouldn't have to follow our parents' rules. We wouldn't have to live in Erie. I don't care what anybody says. I'm gonna set my watch back like the rest of the planet. Nobody rips off an hour from Marshall Teller. Good night, Marshall. Good night, Simon. Get out of bed or you're a dead man, Simon. was ridiculous. The whole town had just disappeared. No people, no cars, no nothing. What's going on here? Where'd everybody go? Hello? Hey, where is everybody? 
Yo, Eerie! Eight o'clock, Sunday morning, and no kids playing. No lawns being mowed, and not even one car driving. I had lived in Erie long enough to expect the unexpected, but this was really creepy. Just when I was starting to accept the fact that I had been abandoned by the whole world, I saw them. But, uh, this is gonna sound kind of weird, but, uh, I got up this morning, and everybody was gone. You guys are the first people I see today. You don't happen to know what's going on, do you? Uh, yeah, I guess you don't know. Well, uh, thanks anyway. Don't let me distract you from your work. Uh, I'll talk at you guys later. It's alive. Good morning, Simon. So, where's the big lazy thing? I don't know. I thought Marshall was already down here having breakfast. Well, he probably just doesn't want to come downstairs. I think I was a little rough on him last night. Maybe I should go talk to him. Oh, God, not that experimental coffee cake again. That girl on the milk carton had the right idea. I mean, think of the advantages if we ran away. Uh, you know, Marshall's been talking about taking up jogging lately. That's right, I forgot. He's out jogging. Hmm. Well, he better get back soon or else he's gonna miss his breakfast. Dad, this coffee cake is a tad chewy. Yes, it is. Looks like we gave them the slip. Who are they? What do they want? Where's everybody? Who are Quiet you? Quiet down, kid. You're giving me a headache. Wipe that milk off your chin. Just how old are you, anyways? 105 and a half. That's old. Now, please, shut up and listen. Well, first of all, those trash collectors are not your friends. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is everybody? Well, everybody's <laughs> right here, except not exactly right now. Huh? Well, you see, everybody exists just like you left them. Except that one hour ahead of us. Huh? You've disrupted the space-time continuum, causing an anomaly with sufficient gravity and mass to transport you to an alternate dimension. Huh? Well, man... <laughs> Just let's say you screwed things up big time when you set your watch back and you wound up one hour behind everybody else in Erie. Welcome to the last hour. Yeah? No. Really? I mean, I did set my watch back because I wanted my extra hour. Oh, man. So who are those trash guys? Oh, they work here cleaning up. Cleaning up what? Things that don't belong here, matter that needs to be destroyed to keep time on schedule. Matter like me? Uh, I'm afraid so. If they don't get rid of you, the space-time continuum could collapse. Yeah. yeah. So you see, Marshal, if it wasn't for me, you'd be cosmic landfill by now. Hey, how'd you know my name? Why do you know where I live? What's going on? Are you sure you're a milkman? There's no time for questions. A girl's life is at stake. Now, through some fluke of physics, you're the only one who can rescue her. It's important you believe me, so I've prepared a little demonstration. 
I think this guy's been delivering milk a little too long. Ever look in the back of a milk truck, Marshal? Not lately. Why? What's back there? Milk and stuff? Well, whatever should be. Take a look. Pretty cool, huh? Now listen, kid. There's another kid running around who doesn't belong here, just like you. Only she's been here for a year. Now, I need you to, to find her and to convince her that I can get the two of you out of here. Why didn't you tell yourself? Oh, no, no. She didn't last year talking to strangers. No, no, no. This kid's smart. She wouldn't come to me or the trash collectors, but, but you... Now, you're a kid. You, she'll believe. And you can convince her that she can still go home. Why should I trust you? Catch. Because I trust you. Hey, these are my dad's car keys. Well, they ain't Captain Kangaroos. <laughs> now, you go get her, and you'll be back before, uh, uh, 9 a.m. Lost our time. And not one second later. Maybe this crazy old milkman was telling the truth. Or maybe he's one of those garbage men in disguise. Either way, I wasn't hanging around to find out. No, 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 please, that way. Come on, come on. If you're gonna get stuck in a time warp, this is the way to do it. No parents, no cops, 13 and I own the road. And this road's gonna take me out of Erie and back to Jersey. Even with no traffic, Jersey was a few days away. So I decided to stop by the world of stuff for supplies. I didn't have any money, but seeing as how nobody existed anymore, I figured it was okay. Very strange. There she was, just like the old milkman said. And even though she was treating me like a large trout, I like this girl. It's hard not to like somebody who saves your butt as an introduction. You could take the net off me. I'm not going to bite you. Not till you tell me who you are and what you're doing here. I'm Marshall Teller, and you're a Janet something. How do you know my name? Well, you're famous. <laughs> sort of. I mean, your face is on every milk carton in Erie. You've been missing for a year. What are you talking about? I'm not missing. Erie is missing. Everyone else disappeared almost a year ago. You mean you think everyone else disappeared? You go to sleep one night and everyone's there, and then when you wake up the next morning and no one's there, anywhere, that should be a tip-off something's wrong. But this old guy told me everyone's still here, just not in his time zone. Right. They're not in standard time. No, I know this sounds crazy, but, well, I thought I was the last kid on Earth. Then those garbage guys tried to grab me. Then I met this weird, super old milkman, and he said that we're in the lost hour. Are you sure a heavy object didn't fall on your head recently? He said I got zapped here because I messed up time by setting my watch back an hour. I don't know what you're talking about with this lost hour and milkman stuff. All I know is I've been here a long time. Long enough to know there's no one left here but me, those creepy garbage guys. And now you. Even if any of that stuff is true, and I'm sure it's not, I like it here. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want, and there's no one here telling me what to do. It's great. There was a nice man here for a while named Mr. Hoffa, but he went out to talk to the garbage guys one day and never came back. I'm just trying to tell you what that old milkman said. Maybe some of it is true. Do us both a favor and give up on the idea of ever going home, okay? Look, I almost went crazy before I give up on seeing my family again, so unless you want to go nuts, I just forget about it. She seemed brave enough now, 
but I tried to imagine how long Janet must have cried before she gave up on ever seeing her family again. And the more I thought about her missing family, the more I started to miss mine. Listen, I don't think Erie's such a hot place to be right now. I'm planning on hitting the road. You are? Yeah. Hey, have you ever had a desire to see New Jersey? Better wear a seatbelt. I don't even have a learner's permit. This is so cool. Hey, can we go to Disneyland on the way? Sure. Hey, let's go to the Grand Canyon. How about Hollywood? Yeah, and I've always wanted to see Las Vegas. Hey, cool idea. Let's go. What are you doing? Why are we stopping? This is my house. Oh, nice. What's the matter? Nothing. It's just gonna be weird. You know, not having a home to go back to. Kinda gonna, like, you know, miss it. I know what you mean. Oh, well. Better get going. Marshall, look! Uh, we met before. Really? Yeah, long time ago. This is my house. How'd you know that? I'm a milkman. Why did you bring me here? My family is gone and they're never going to come back, so what's the point? Marsha, why don't you show your friend what's in the back of the milk truck? What's he talking about? What's back there? Milk and stuff? Whatever needs to be. Maybe just a look. Yes. I just saw my family through that window. Cool, cool huh? Marshall. I want to go home. Now, if you were Dorothy and this was ours, you'd just have to click your heels together three times and bam, back to Kansas. But unfortunately, this is eerie. And getting you back to Indiana is going to be a little more complicated. You see, time is like a Mobius strip. And when you're stuck... Save the technical mumbo jumbo. Just tell us how to get out of here. Oh, all right. Well, it's really quite simple. At exactly on the hour, if you are in exactly the same spot you were when you came over, and if you set your watch ahead exactly one hour to the exact correct eerie time, you'll wind up exactly where you want to be. Back home? Exactly. Oh, no. I left my watch back in regular time. Well, we can both use mine. Oh, no, no, no. No, it doesn't work that way. Unless someone can set your watch ahead one hour, you're going to spend the next 365 days running from those sanitation engineers. Got it. I knew you would. Simon! Come here. Come here! Set my watch back one hour ahead. Now! Oh, man! Oh, man! Oh, man! Think you got the message? I hope. It's my only chance. Right now, you gotta get inside and save yourself. <sighs> Thanks for everything, Marshall. If it weren't for you, I might have been stuck here for the rest of my life. I'm sorry about the fishnet. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I'll just have more compassion for Trotton. <laughs> Two minutes! Hey! Wait! See you tomorrow! Or 
for today or, or an hour from now. Or... See you later, Jenny. Anything but digital. I hate digital. End of the line. Thanks. Hey, mister. I just want to know one thing. Who are you? Well, Marshal, just let's say that you're going to live to be a very old man. And someday, you'll be back here. My key? You mean you're... I'm... What? Come on, come on. Maybe it's this button. Listen, Simon, Marshall still hasn't shown up and we're getting worried. Be there in a sec. I just overslept. Oh, I didn't hear we thought something had happened to you. Well, come on, hurry up. Get out of bed. Come on, don't blow your whole day in the sack. Get up and do something. And so, with the aid of my trusted partner, Simon, I made it back to regular Erie, if you can call it that. And I'm not certain. But I think I met myself as a really, really old man. Maybe in 90 or so years, I'll find out for sure. As for Janet Donner, well, she was lucky. Her family had never given up loving her. Nobody could believe where she'd been. But it didn't matter. She was home now. Ha <laughs> ha! 